reality designed to replicate a real human experience. Artificially scented candles. Mm. Artificial sex appeal. Cultural simulation. Nostalgia. Fabricated memories. You know Joe Hahn from Linkin Park, but when he's not playing in the rock band, he's busy behind the camera. Joe joins me now to chat about his directing his first major film. Joe, great to have you here. Thanks for having me. So this major film, it's called Mall, and yes. it centers around suburbanites that are caught up in a tragic mall shooting. Pretty yeah. serious topic we're talking about right here. Yeah. What attracted you to this script? Uh, well, um, there's something about the realness of the writing. Uh, it was adapted from a novel written by Eric Bogosian. Um, and uh, you know today's society we um, uh, is very driven by vanity, especially through so social media. And I thought the point of view that he had with all the characters was really refreshing because it tore down a lot of barriers and really got beneath the surface and showed who these people really are in a very raw kind of way, um, mm -hmm. in a way that people don't really like to portray themselves. So that was um, the honesty of that really really caught my attention and then also the, the story was was something that um, captivated me I, I read a lot of scripts and I couldn't put this one down and um, immediately thought of how I would be able to um, tell this story visually how much of a say did you have in the casting of it well uh, Vincent D'Onofrio uh, was the original director and writer for the script and um, I met him one day and he you know he's 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 actually a really generous guy I think he's um, he teaches acting you know he like works mm -hmm. with a lot of actors and uh, when we met we hit it off and he asked me to direct this film um, and um, he, I think he li liked a lot of my ideas and um, I really liked uh, a lot of the DNA that he was putting into the story so the the script that he was able to craft with uh, uh, Joe Vinciguerra and Sam Bisbee mm -hmm. really became the blueprint for um, for me to be able to um, take it to where I did. Linkin Park plays a role in uh, the soundtrack of this too yeah. as well. Was it easy to get those guys on board? We had a lot of music that was kind of laying around so I was able to uh, pop music in in different places and there were some songs that um, didn't have a home that really resonated with the characters in the film mm -hmm. uh, so much in fact that they became thematic scoring so I was able to work with uh, a composer uh, Alec Puro with him we were able to lay out a, uh, a plan uh, of how the music was going to work and went back and forth with him and uh, with some of the guys on different parts and we were able to create cool sounds that resonated with uh, moments and emotions that were going on. Mm -hmm. Going back to the film and the emotions, I mean, we, you know, you turn on the news, you're always seeing something about a shooting somewhere. I mean, does this say something about our culture and, and where we are today at all? Yeah, for me, um, my goal wasn't to make a statement, but, um, but to get a conversation going because um, a lot of these things happen, um, especially with some of these sociopathic people that we really don't uh, fully understand you know we can we can diagnose it or or try to blame certain aspects of it but um, I think the real way to um, deal with it is just to ha have continual conversation about it you've directed a bunch of Lincoln Park videos before how did that help or hurt you know directing a major film like this uh, the, vid the videos obviously allowed me to um, experiment in so many different ways mm -hmm. um, and also uh, elevate uh, what we were doing musically to, to engage with people visually, to connect emotionally. So I, I take a lot of all those things with me and um, I guess it's, um, it's almost like a bag of tricks. You kind of just, just start storing and building a hard drive of ideas. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it came in really handy w in making this film. I wouldn't say it was easy, but uh, it was easy in the fact that it was enjoyable. And, um, and working with a, a great crew and actors, um, yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Do you think you've caught the directing bug? I mean, in terms of a long, longer film? Yeah, I mean, ironically, I've had the directing bug <laughs> for, for a long time. It's just uh, uh, the catch-22, I guess, in um, 
the, the movie making business is uh, getting your first film, right? So mm -hmm. now that I have my first film under, under the belt, then hopefully that opens more opportunities to do some, some cool things. Oh, well, thank you so much yeah. for coming in, Joe. It was really great talking thank with you. Thank you. Mall hits theaters on October 17th. For this and all things entertainment, stay at cbsnews.com.